Okay, God bless y'all in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, this topic is about Jezebel, the spirit of Jezebel. And, um, you know, the spirit of Jezebel, I have seen that manifestation of that spirit before. Um, but I want to wanna enlighten y'all to something, though. Spirits... Spirits aren't bound to one operation of a sin. You know, you might got the spirit of lust, you might got the spirit of this, you might got the spirit of that. But they're not sitting around like, you know, oh, I'm the spirit of lust, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't go, I gotta stay over here, like, or you know, um, oh, I'm the spirit of hate. I'm not gonna be able to do it. You know, you're gonna have to reschedule uh, contact the spirit of uh, manipulation. What I've grown to learn through the word of God, stuff ain't true, man. These evil spirits, man, they don't care what you call them, man. I mean, they might care, but the point that I'm making is that the spirits are spirits, and they can operate out of what they operate out of. They don't need, you know, us to be informed about how they operate to that entirety. Um, when you want a spirit cast out of yourself, sure, I get it, but it's going to be connected to what the sin is. So if you know you have a sin in your life, that's how you pretty much figure that if you have a spirit, it can be the spirit that's of that sin, okay? You might not have that necessarily, but if you do have a spirit, it's gonna be correlated to the sins that you struggle with the most. Um, but I wanted to just say that uh, you don't have to be like educated on evil spirits as much as um, is taught by a lot of Christians um, online. And the scriptures don't teach that you have to be educated on evil spirits. Our job is to stay holy, close to God. And God will guide us and teach us and everything like that. But you don't have to like be looking stuff up and you know trying to figure out a spirit. Like if somebody's wrong, you believe that they have a spirit, all you gotta do is just look at their sins <laughs> that they're showing you. You don't have to be like, you know, I wonder if that's a spirit, like, who cares? Like, and if it's habitual and they're always doing it, there's probably a strong chance that it is. If they look like they're bound by that sin, there's probably a strong chance that there is. But that's not our focus. Um, scripture says to not rejoice um, because that, because demons or devils, which are used interchangeably, um, and we need to take note of that, demons and devils get used interchangeably. Um, but we're not to uh, rejoice that they submit to us, but that our names are written in heaven, okay? And so um, if we're not to rejoice in you know, be overly excited that they submit to us, why do we have to even care to know who they are and be educated on them so bad? All we gotta do is know right from wrong. And, um, yeah. <laughs> All we gotta do is know right from wrong. If, 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 um, if you have to call, call a demon out of somebody, amen, glory to God. But, the point that I'm making is that um, all this being educated about the Jezebel spirit uh, is garbage. These evil spirits, they can operate out of whatever sin they want to operate out of. You know, people act like the Jezebel spirit is this particular spirit that they, you know, this is how they operate. And no, oh, all you need to know is that it's an evil spirit. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know, you know what I mean? 
Um, I'm gonna give you an example. First Kings chapter 22. Verse 22. Okay, I'm gonna start with a I'm gonna start with a I'm going to start with verse 18. And the king of Israel said unto Jehoshaphat, Did I not tell thee that he would prophesy no good concerning me but evil? And he said, Hear thou therefore the word of the Lord. I saw the Lord sitting on his throne, and all the host of heaven standing by him on his right hand and on his left. And the Lord said, who shall persuade Ahab that he may go up and fall at Ramoth Galid or Galead? And one said on this manner, and another said on that manner. And there came forth a spirit and stood before the Lord and said, I will persuade him. And the Lord said unto him, Wherewith? And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit in the mouth of all his prophets. And he said, thou shalt persuade him and prevail also. Go forth and do so. Okay. So, um, then it says in verse 23, Now therefore, behold, the Lord had put a lying spirit in the mouth of all these that prophesy that, uh, of all these prophets and the Lord has spoken evil concerning thee okay now understand when it says that the Lord hath put a lying spirit in the mouth of all thy prophets understand before that it says uh, when someone one of the spirits said that he was persuade him and the Lord said, wherewith or how, you know. And he said, I will go forth and I will be a lying spirit. 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 Okay. So you need to understand how these evil spirits work. Okay. They don't need for us to categorize them so meticulously and carefully you know all we need to know that there's evil and that evil is present and that if there's an evil spirit it can go out um when you hear people say stuff like uh you know knowing the evil spirits names and all that i'm not knocking because it's good to know that they have characters and it's good to not be ignorant of that. But when you hear people say, like, you know, like calling the name of the evil spirit and asking what its name is and, you know, conversation with the evil spirit, this doesn't have to happen. Um, I mean, you got a, uh, let's see here, you got Mark 5-9, I'm gonna go there. Okay, but I want you guys to get it in your understanding that they can go out and be whatever they want to operate out of to try to take us down. Okay, so it says in Mark 5, 9, it says, And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, for we are many. Okay, so not gonna pose because you know when you're asking them that's a form of getting them to submit okay so you know I don't knock that however uh, there has become you know and this isn't every Christian but I've seen a great deal of saints who esteem the idea of trying to learn what demon this is and what demon that is and what devil this is what devil that is and um the names and how they operate listen sin they're gonna operate through sin whatever sin you see people operate out of that's how they're gonna operate 
and they're just being used by evil spirit in a way that is binding them, okay? In a way that is uh, housing them. You know what I mean? Um, it's just placed residency in them because of how open they are to that operation of sin, okay? That they wanna go out of their way to also bind them by the powers of those sins that they've came in agreement with, okay? So all you have to do is just recognize it as sin, okay? This person is doing this too much, okay? That's just sin, okay? Um, and if it's like, you know, done in a way where it's just, it seems like it's overwhelming, it's just strong chances, probably evil spirit inside of them. Um, you know, you can have evil spirits of, 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 of false doctrines, you know, um, doctrine of devils, okay? Um, and then a lot of times doctrine of devils, you'll see people nailing away at like one topic and they'll just be like, you know, they'll just be obsessed with it, you know what I mean? Like obsessed with this one doctrine it's already false and then, they, they, then they, on top of that they're just obsessed with it okay go look at their videos scroll down it's the same topic like you I mean <laughs> um a lot of times that has to do with the doctrine of devils uh um that evil spirit can get you uh meaning if it's false but that evil spirit could get you on that doctrine and just nail it away um look at rasputin um he was a uh he was like an in-house prophet false prophet of course of the czars in russia and um you know he he definitely was under the doctrine of devils he operated out of uh false signs and wonders and um he uh taught people to um, operate in orgy in orgies and, and to do gravest sins, grievous, grave sins um, of sexual lust and strong perversion so that you can later repent of it, you know, because that will make you uh, more closer to God is if you commit very um, deep, heavy, weighty sins and then repent, you know. Go hop in a cold shower or something and just repent like, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. That's a doctrine of a devil. OK, <clears throat> so um, it's just to keep you bound and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, enough with this whole Jezebel, you know, this Jezebel stuff, this Jezebel stuff. Listen, man, you think the Jezebel spirit can't be contentious? You think the spirit of contention can't operate out of the spirit of lust? You think the spirit of lust can't operate out of, you know what I mean? Like, listen, man. It's foolishness. They don't care. They're just trying to get inside. And they're just trying to interact. Okay? And they're just trying to be involved. They could care less about all the details. Um, let's see. Um, oh, but yeah. So, so yeah. And I've, I've, I've heard people always say all that stuff about the names and stuff. Okay, and then consider how he lied he said we are legion okay he said what is your name jesus said okay let me see mark what is that mark 5 9 he said what is thy name meaning what is your name right and he answered him saying my name is legion for we are many wait him we which one is it what is your name Okay, and then you just said, we are many, and you said your name is Legion? No, no, you see, you see that? And and you know what Legion represents, if you don't, it represents like, you know, um, a number of like about 6,000 military figures, which was considered uh, in the Roman soldiers, okay, among the Rome, Romans. And so, you know, uh, 6,000, yeah, so there was around about 6,000, which is a Legion, but how you just gonna have one name? Like, you know what I mean? No. You see, so, I mean, what did you lie? Like, what did that evil spirit do? Did it lie? Like, 
He asked you what your name is. Okay, you couldn't tell him your name without talking as if you're all 6,000. No, you're not all 6,000. What is your name? Okay, so uh, yeah, they they be tripping, man. And you know, our job isn't to even focus on you know um, how they operate. Uh, but yeah, Jesus only did that to. Uh, Jesus was showing how they submit. Okay, he could just be saying like it's been times where he said be muzzled. And then come out of him. You know what I mean? Like, like shut up. And then come out of him. Just, okay, they shut up and then they came out. Like, it's it's all submission. So, you know, he was just flexing. Jesus was flexing, showing off his muscles, you know, that they submit. Okay, let's go to Luke 10, 20. But yeah, people be trying to have conversations and, nah. For real, for real, Jesus wasn't doing a lot of rapping. He gave you that, but he ain't doing a lot of rapping. Many times you just tell them to shut up, you know. But anyway, Luke ten twenty. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna read eighteen through twenty, Luke chapter ten. It says, uh, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to tread upon, to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy. Okay, that all the power of the enemy includes. You have the power to <coughs> override their importance. Okay, of of giving them the dignity to show concern for who they are and. You don't have to know all that, you know what I mean? You don't have to, you don't owe them, you know, uh, you don't owe them your time of educate, being educated um, to how, you know, they are and all that. The devil likes that, um, you know, he likes that. Anyway, uh, because knowing them ain't getting them kicked out. You could just get them kicked out of the, the body of a person by just calling them up, call, saying go in the name of Jesus, come out. And you don't say fire, okay? Or, it ain't even Bible. The fire, fire, all that stuff is garbage. Anyway, it says, behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you, okay? So it's not even gonna hurt you. I know this is application. It's not even gonna hurt you if you don't know their name, okay? But anyway, he says, notwithstanding in this, rejoice not, okay, that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven, okay? So I'll repeat that again. Don't rejoice because evil spirits are subject to you, okay, that they have to uh, submit to you. Don't rejoice because of that, you know what I'm saying? But rejoice for the latter, your names being written in heaven. And, um, yeah, they, these evil spirits, you know, they, they, they do a lot of things, uh, they, they could be random with their whole evil. Our job is to just be righteous, holy, and, um, yeah, walking in the authority that we have. And that authority doesn't necessarily need us to, um, warrant them our education about them, okay? You know, um, yeah. I mean, one of the first times I ever cast an evil spirit out, I saw vomit just pouring out of the person I cast it out of. The evil spirit just, you know, just left. And the person just started vomiting profusively, just, blah, 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 just, just vomiting. I ain't need to know the name of the evil spirit. I ain't need to know the name of the cousin of the evil spirit. I ain't need to know any of that stuff. I ain't need to know any of that stuff. And it came out, okay? So, yeah, know that you don't have to, like, you don't owe them anything, you know? You don't owe them your knowledge about how, uh, how they just 
you know, left Tamika to come into Sharita. It's not your business. Just come out. Um, all right, God bless.